Alrighty guys, and welcome back to more Stella Glow. We are here, I want to say about a week after the last several parts. I want to say several, because I recorded at least 15 episodes between last the last week and today. <laughs> and it's been a week since I last played, so here we go. We're about to hop right back into Stella Glow. I've actually played more Stella Glow than any other game on this channel. More than Mortal Final Fantasy, more than Shin Megami Tensei. So that, that shows you that I'm more interested in this game right now than anything else. I really want to see just the solution to this game. I want to see the finale for sure. So right now we have nine free times. Um, I guess what we can do is see what we can get from exploring. I think we'll that'll be the first thing we find out, or that'll be the first thing we do. So let's go ahead and see how many times we gotta explore. The music is good too. Oh my god! It took seven tries to get this from Dorothy. Is that Dorothy? It looks like she dropped something. What is this? Hilda's statue. I guess it would be a good idea to give it back to her later. Looks like this is all I'm going to find. Guess I should head back. Alright, so we got both of the unique items this chapter. And it took seven free times just to get them. So if you did this on a normal playthrough, you would have to eat up all your free time, literally, just to get these items. Like, golly, I hope they're, some, I hope they're worth it. I hope they're worth it. Let's see. So we got the recipe. Lowers luck. Lowers luck and raises physical defense and magic defense. Lowers physical defense and magic defense, but raises physical. Oh hell no! Hell no! They don't. This is not worth it. That is totally not worth it, my dude. None of this is actually worth it. Heal the statue. Lowers your defense for more attack. Hell no, it is not worth it. I don't care if it's plus 12, it is not worth it. If it was like, lowers luck for like massive speed, hell yeah. Yeah, anything with related to speed, I probably will get. So now that I know I don't have to explore, because I don't want these trashy ass items, we're gonna spend all that time hanging out with the people. So let's go ahead and do that instead. My god, those items were trash. Trash-tastic. So after, you know, reloading my game file to get my free time back, we're not gonna waste any time on those trash-tastic items. We're gonna go to the Night Barracks. And we're gonna hang out with, uh... I guess we're gonna hang out with Hilda twice. Because the reason why we wanna hang out with Hilda twice is simply due to the fact she's not... Sh she doesn't show up on the third. She doesn't show up on the third free time, so we wanna just... Hilda Hilda and then Dante or Hilda Hilda then Veronica too. Oh my god. I forgot about Veronica All right, let's hang out with Veronica. I guess I totally forgot about Veronica <laughs> We just unlocked Veronica too. You went to the lab with Veronica. Oh my god I forgot she was a character that we got in our party Dr. Veronica, what did you want? It sounded pretty serious <laughs> Don't worry your pretty little head. Oh god I wouldn't be serving you tea if it was serious. I'd just tell you straight up. I guess you have a point. Then drink up. I'll explain everything. I am thirsty. Well, thank you for the tea. Alto admits he's thirsty, bros. Those are quite the hearty gulps. I'm impressed. Well? Well, there's some research I used to do that I stopped a long time ago. She sounds a lot more, I don't know what it is, she sounds like a little bit more stable in her voice. She sounds more confident, which is weird. What kind of research? Has a deeper voice, I guess. An investigation into living things. It was a real pain in the ass. You can affect the target negatively if you interfere with it too much. All you can really do is observe and study existing literature. Sounds to me like you've just been pushing it off. Indeed, I have repressed my urge to research. Even I need to be cautious. It is impossible to undo changes made to a living thing after all. However, caution will no longer be necessary. That's where you come in. What? Me? 
Oh, you, you drank the tea. You fell for the okie. Oh, it's working. I put numbing powder into your tea. Veronica sounds a little bit different. I'm not gonna lie. N numbing powder? What are you trying to do, doctor? It's subtle. It's subtle. It's a little change, but I hear the tone difference. Investigate living things, as I said. You're a very attractive test subject. What? This is the perfect opportunity for me to begin my own private work. Whoa! You will be my assistant in training. The experiment begins now. Veronica, what are you doing? Experiment? Stop this, Dr. Veronica! Oh, what is she doing? She drugged your boy! <laughs> Auto rip RIP. <laughs> my experiment was a success. How are you feeling? Wow, my head feels light. I feel off. What did she do to you, boy? Doctor, what did you do to me? Was that a human experiment? It's not a bad adjustment. Don't worry. I'll still need you after all. You're the only test subject I have. The immense potential of humanity. Yes, I'm glad I'm a researcher. I've wanted to do tests on you for so long. She didn't even ask. She just did it. You, you're scaring me. I'd also love to gather the emotional data of those you've influenced. I'm gonna science the heck out of y'all. <laughs> Dr. Veronica, back in business. Wow, she's gonna science the heck out of y'all. <laughs> Wait, you're going to reconstruct everyone else too? You can go home now, Alto. See ya! Wait! Hmm, what? Oh, the procedure is non-reversible. What did she do? That's not what I wanted to ask. <laughs> Though, that is terrifying. <laughs> I'm your assistant. So I can come and go as I please, right? I can't just leave you to do this crazy research by yourself. I was joking about that assistant stuff, but I guess I do need a hand. Okay, you'll be my assistant. That means you have to cooperate with my research. What did she do? All right. She altered his genes? What, well, what's I'm up? Well, I'm gonna go get some more angel wings. Need energy for my field work. If I don't keep her under control, who knows what she'd turn us all into? <laughs> you sense the bond for her with Veronica. Your affinity with Veronica has increased. Magic shield, huh? Negate any magic damage less than 20. That was what Klaus had. That's interesting. Added effect. Wow. The characters with added effect are pretty good. Veronica's here again, but Dante's not here now. That's interesting. Veronica just stuck the place of uh, Dante. But Dante's gonna have a second go. So I guess we'll hang out with uh, Hilda. Hilda. Hilda and Dorothy, I guess we'll... Man, there's so many people to hang out with. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to actually hang out with everybody. Hold on, we might actually have enough time, though. Definitely Hilda. Because that reduced SP cost is gonna be immaculate. You talk to Hilda. Hilda, you were a queen once, right? Indeed, a long time ago. Why do you ask? Well, I was just wondering what it was like. You should never inquire so casually into a woman's past. Who cares if you're a woman? What's that gonna do with anything? Oh, I'm sorry, but uh, I, I just don't see the point in how I can't ask you that. I can ask a man that, but I can't ask a woman that? Y'all want equality, but I can't ask y'all the same questions. Fuck out of here! As such, you be more. <laughs> I suggest you be more careful in the future. I will. I think I understand what it must have been like. You had a friendly chat with Hilda. You should. You shouldn't go into a woman's past. But a man's past is okay to go through. Fuck out of here! Look at look at how many people are in here. Dorothy and Dante. Guts. He has guts. She has concentration. Increases. Quite honestly, I think I'm gonna pimp out Dorothy first, cause Dorothy preemptive strike would actually be really good. Would a good setup for the orbs, especially the desperation orb. Oh my gosh, he would be a beast. 
Dorothy, your clothes are pretty different from normal hybrid attire. Of course they are, it's because I'm special. Alright, I guess you are the only one wearing pink and the only one with rabbit ears. I don't like people touching me, especially on the head. Only those I approve of can do that. <laughs> so I asked Dante to make me something cute with a hood on it. Wait, what? Dante made those clothes? That's right, and I decorated them. I would have never expected that from the Harbingers. Oh, how I would have never known this if we just sat down and had a talk. Oh my god. Better late than never. <laughs> Nobody would have believed me if I told them the truth. <laughs> Nobody believed me. I could have took several thousand other different actions to make them believe me, but nobody believed me. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I think that part of the game was just hilarious. Even if it works, it's just hilarious to me. It's like, really? <laughs> it, it's it's fine. It doesn't stop it doesn't stop this game from being hella fun. What's your favorite food, Hilda? Well the hybrid just ate hot pot quite I was about to say Hot Pockets. Anyway, the Harbingers ate Hot Pot quite often. Hot Pot? Yes, Fahrenheit is a cold place and it doesn't require a great amount of skill. Dante Dorothy Rodolph and I used to eat it all the time. Hell yeah, just like ramen, huh? All four of you. Hold it around a tiny stove. I can't imagine it. Bruh, what about the other Harbingers? Like, the generic NPC soldiers we kill all the time. What about them? It, the Harbingers wasn't just... Dante, Rodolph, and Dorothy and Hilda, she had like other soldiers. I don't know how she recruited them. I feel like she actually had them by force. She, she forced them into it or something. So we got more Dorothy action. Yeah, let's focus on Dorothy and Hilda. All right, let's hang out with Hilda once more. Gotta get that reduced SP cost. You talk to Hilda. Hilda, I think your hair is growing. My hair? A little bit. Your bangs are almost covering your eyes. Yes, you're right. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just that I kept my internal clock stopped for a whole millennium that she never needed to get a haircut. This is my first, this is the first time my hair has grown in a thousand years. Right. <laughs> I think Hilda might be the strangest ally we made yet. Strangest? What about Dorothy, dumbass? <laughs> Miss, I'm gonna kill all y'all. All y'all all need Jesus. All y'all need Jesus. Alright, let's hang out with Dorothy. That concentration, though, like, oh my god, that's gonna be lovely. Sparkly, sparkly, giggle. Okay, I'm taking this. Let's get out of here. Dorothy, you have to pay for that. Why would I have to pay? All the cute things in this world belong to me. If you don't get your child ass out of here. Dorothy, come here. Ooh, Bopter. You just hit me on the head. There are rules that you have to follow here. You need to learn. Ooh, you gonna learn today, girl. <laughs> but I will admit the orbs are pretty. Here, I'll buy you one. Which one do you want? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm your daddy now. <laughs> I'm your daddy. You act up, I'm whooping your ass, Dorothy. And no one ever hit me like that before. <laughs> Alto is the dude. Alto is that boy. He likes purple stuff. He 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 likes Hilda. He hits kids. He he's a true brother. He's a true brother. <laughs> Let's hang out with Hilda. This should be the final time we need to hang out with Hilda before we need to tune her. So we want to tune her ASAP because we actually still need to, she will be the, we need to tune her, I wouldn't say right away, but every other witch still, you know, needs to be tuned, but they don't need to be hung out with. We just, we still need to hang out with Hilda. So the next witch we're going to tune is probably going to be Hilda. Elmar again, so told me to bring you here. I'm just letting you know. There's no need to worry. I will take responsibility for my actions. 
Hilda. Take responsibility. Ah, Alto. Hilda. How good of you to come. Regent Elmar, what did you want to speak with us about? It may be somewhat hasty to ask this, seeing as the battle is yet to end. However, since Hilda's group is now in support of the Tuning Knights, I would like to know what form of compensation they desire. What form of compensation? Uh... Compensation? I believe in your resolve, but there will surely be times of hardship. I will gladly lend a hand if it will raise morale in those moments. That's crazy. Are you serious, Elmore? Elmore? Elmore with the change of personality? What is this? Elda, is there anything the members of the Harbingers desire? Bison bucks. No, get cookies. You better get that cold, hard cash. Well, there is one thing. Who? Hmm? Hilda? I would like you to reduce the punishments for Dante and Dorothy. They were but children when I took them by force from their homes. To atone for these sins, I would like your judgment to fall upon me alone. Hilda! <laughs> you know what I'm trying to think about that? It's the end of the world, girl. You better take that money. Regent Elmar, she didn't mean... I understand. There is no need to be flustered. I merely wanted to know what she desired so that I could assist her. However, I would never carry out her wish if it meant lowering morale. Thank you, Regent. Having said that, it seems she will stop at nothing to make atonement. But you still have time. Discuss this matter carefully with her. Understood. Compensation. Hilda! Hold on! You could have got cold hard cash! What are you doing? Alto. Nobody cares about the punishments. The world's ending. I already told you. Once this ends, I shall seek redemption for what I did. I do not intend to go back on my word. You're not the only sinner here. Think about how I treated you. That's right. Alto, you have shown more kindness than someone like me deserves. There's no reason to feel guilty. You've already made it up to me. Well, then so have you. Please, just take back what you said earlier. I can't do that. You know that as well as I. The weight of my sins is too much to bear. The chains, no! <laughs> she needs to be tuned. Please understand this, Alto. I cannot escape my past. Hilda has to face her guilt. Maybe she needs to be tuned again. If I take her over to Medea's, I should be able to tune her. I love how they always tell you to go tune the girl. Like, I already know, man. I, we've been through this 8,000 times already. Your affinity with Hilda did not increase, and uh, do I need to let you know you're wasting your time? Well, you don't really waste your time, because you, you gotta do it anyway. To get them to their... Whatever, you wasted your time, boy. Come on, man. I'm trying to be optimistic about the situation. All right, we're going to hang out with Dorothy. One more hang out with Dorothy and we get concentration. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah. Ha ha. Dorothy, do you want to go somewhere with me? Nope, nope, nope. See ya. <laughs> She's smart. Huh. I guess I should ask everyone else what they think of her. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> so I ain't got time for that. It's like not wanting to hang out I with your parents. I have something to ask regarding <laughs> Dorothy. Ah, yes. Ladylike behavior must be instilled from a young age. Why don't we just let her do what she wants? She'll just run away otherwise. No, Lady Sakuria. We must teach her kindness and respect for others. Oh, who cares about that stuff? Wow. She is pretty aggressive, though. I still shiver when I think back to the volcano. <laughs> Look who's talking. You're more aggressive than anyone. And you're just some lunatic who's always spouting nonsense. Shut up. Calm down, guys. Let's get back on topic. I want to hear what you think, Alto. It seems like you have an idea. Hmm. Is that true? I think we should schedule regularly scheduled beatings. 
if we beat her ass every Monday and Friday, she'll be she'll be just fine when she grows up. <laughs> yeah, though I wanted to run it by you guys first. How do you know? Regular scheduled meetings, oh my god. It's easy to tell. You've seemed pretty worried about her lately. If she ain't got her choice done by the end of Wednesday, we beat her. If she ain't got it done by Friday either, we beat her. Regularly scheduled meetings. So, I want Dorothy to gain more life experiences. Give her a job, make her do chores. She knows nothing but battle. How sad. So Dorothy wants friends? Popo and Boo Boo can be her friend. Hmm? Where's Boo Boo? Boo Boo! Where are you? She's out there cooking them. <coughs> About to become bacon. Boo Boo? Ah, did you fall, Boo Boo? I'll kiss it and make it better. <laughs> Dorothy probably kicked him. A kicked her, excuse me. This cut and the mud around it are clearly from a shoe. A shoe? So someone kicked Boo Boo? Ha! Who would have... I already knew that. You should go look for her. We'll be fine here. Sorry, Lizette. I'm going now. Hey, you can't assume it was Dorothy. Maybe somebody hit him on accident. They, they immediately assumed it was Dorothy, though. They really assumed it was Dorothy? Dorothy? Don't come any closer. I'll kill you if you do. Bleh. What's wrong? What happened between you and Boo Boo? Nothing. She just tried to come near me again. Aren't you supposed to get scared of someone when they hurt you? That's how I want people to think of me. You were trying to scare Boo Boo? But why? I hurt people so they'll hate me. I'm a doll, so I'm used to being hated. You're weird for not being scared. Don't try to act all tough in front of Hilda. You listen to our conversation? But more importantly, you're clearly not a doll, Dorothy. And nobody can get used to having people hate them. You're just pretending. People who are abandoned become dolls. That's what people always told me. And even if I don't get used to being hated, that doesn't change the hate. That's... So I decided. I would become the scariest thing in the world. That way, nobody would hurt me ever again. I knew it came true when all the people who had bullied me turned to Crystal. The world you talk about is a big lie. Hilda knows it too. I won't let anyone else steal from me. This is the end of our fake friendship. Fake friendship? No. <laughs> Sorry for speaking as if I knew what was going on. I don't even know you. But you're not a doll. You don't scare me. I actually like talking to you. Even if Hilda put me up to this at first, I'm genuinely interested now. That's gross. First you call me a liar, then you call me gross. I must be weird. So weird it's First you call me a liar, I... then you call me gross. Call me a gross liar. Why don't we go apologize to Boo Boo? Together. I don't want her to dislike you. I'll go when I feel like it. Alto, you're so annoying. I'm so... Hmm? Nothing! You sense a bond for me with Dorothy. <laughs> Your affinity with Dorothy has increased. Dorothy acquired concentration. Increases preemptive strike activations rate. Really. Nice. Dodge support has been enhanced. Even greater evasion for adjacent allies. Oh yeah, Dorothy could actually be really dumb. <laughs> Dorothy could actually be really dumb in battle. And I have a feeling she really can be. Frenzy. Negate status elements when HP is low. Ooh, let's go. That's actually really good. That's actually really good because you want her to be on low HP. So giving her the desperation orbs make her a really good character. And then with her preemptive strike, she is a beast. So Dorothy could actually just be really ridiculous if, if you set her up right. All right, so we can hang out with Dante or your girl Dorothy. Dude, this music right now reminds me of Persona in a weird way. 
Cause it, I heard like a chord that sounded just like P3. I mean, you know what? Let's just let's hang out with Dante. I'm not even about to get into this. It's so similar to Persona. <laughs> There's so many aspects to this game that you, the the biggest aspect, of course, is the them the bond, the bond system. It's so much. It's so much like Persona, dude. Hey, where are you going? You've been walking for a while now since you left the barracks. What the hell? Why are you following me? I just want to talk to you, bro. Why don't we stop and find somewhere to chat? Are you an idiot? The angels are here. We have more important things to do right now. I do my think why I walk. So I'm not stopping until I'm done. Well, I'm the leader of the tuning life, so I'm not stopping until we talk. Huh. Well, let's see how long you actually last, wimp. Wimp. You don't seem to be getting along with Dante. That would have been hilarious if it didn't go up at all. <laughs> you don't seem to be getting along with Dante. But here you go. <laughs> Here's a gym for effort. Lambert Castle Front. Marie's waiting for me. I should head back to my room. Hey, this is hilarious. This is exactly where we were just hanging with Dante. So that last hangout was canon. <laughs> I'm just saying that because it's convenient. This song, where is it coming from? Is that Marie? Alto. Marie, so you can sing? I guess so. She also a witch? You guess? But you're not a witch, though. In any case, let's tell Dr. Veronica. I remembered something, Alto. Has your memory returned? Not all of it. But I remember my sister. I have a big sister who... who's always in pain. She hears lots of bad voices in her head every single day. I guess your parents should actually take it to a professional to help her, you know, get over that. Do you know where your sister is? She's on the moon. If you do, we can look for her right now and... Wait! What is it? I was only able to watch her in pain. I couldn't help. She probably doesn't even want to see me anymore. What kind of person wouldn't want to see their little sister? No, Alto, you don't get it. You don't understand. Uh-oh. <gasps> Marie, what's wrong? Whoa, that was creepy. I seen them veins. I seen them veins. Marie? Marie, wake up! She's having a heart attack at the age of 11? Oh! I thought I heard a song earlier. What's going on around here? Is that Veronica? Dr. Veronica! Marie suddenly collapsed. Please, can you take a look at her? Take a look, huh? Hurry! All right, all right. Carry her to the medical ward. Uh, okay. Hang in there, Marie. We'll fix you in no time. Oh, here it goes. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> She's been groaning in her sleep a lot lately. And she sounds like a man. Is that a sign of her memories coming back? Who knows? I'm a researcher, not a physician. But you should still know all about the human body, right? Sure, human being the key word there. <laughs> I gave her a sedative, so she should be in dreamland any time now. I see. Hey, Veronica, what do you think, Marie? Shut it, I'm thinking. Uh, sorry. I'd like to watch over her for a while. When she goes in this deep sleep, put her on a stretcher and bring her to the lab. Where are you going? Back to the lab to prepare for a detailed examination. In the meantime, you should try emitting alpha waves so that she'll go into her non-rim sleep. 
Alpha waves? What the fuck are alpha waves? I didn't understand a word she just said. But either way, I gotta get Marie over to the lab. Snooze. <sighs> Snooze. What are you? Marie, what are you? Whoa, two battles in a row. We gotta do two battles and then in free time. This is crazy, man. Night barracks. We're all ready to go and do the next mission. As we are, or as are we. All that remains is your word, I'll tell. Hey, that angel eater isn't here. Dr. Veronica. Seems she's not yet back from the lab. Hey. Dr. Veronica, how's Marie's doing? I finished examining her. She's back in her room. It'll be some time until the results come in. I wonder if she's okay. As long as she makes sure to eat, nothing will happen to her in the immediate future. Anyway, I know we're all worried, but our priority right now is the... Right now needs to be the Celestial Hymn. The score is scattered all across the kingdom. Mithra, Port Noir, Amatsu, Kashmistan. The score is tightly connected to the Witch's Quality. I'm sure there are many clues to be found in those locations. Our goal is decided. Tuning Knights, we will now depart to collect the score for the Celestial Hymn. Aokai! <laughs> you can hear Dorothy's Aokai! <laughs>